Hi, and welcome to section seven, reading music for the ukulele. Well, if you made it this far, you must have a reasonably good understanding on how to read music or understand uh, musical notation. Today, we're gonna go over the uh, first line of the song, Long, Long Ago. Before we get started, I just wanna go over a, a couple of things. Um, this is the diagram for the C scale that we covered in class. Now it's just a portion or an excerpt from the C scale. Let's review that. So each column is a string. So this first column would be the G string. Next column would be the C string. This column would be the E string. And this column would be the A string. Take note that you see like these little O's or zeros under them. They are signifying open, open string. So if you were to pluck it open G, open G, that's what it's signifying. Open, if you were to pluck that C string open, that's an open C. So in other words, that means open string. Now, this note here, uh, the number two means second finger on the second fret. And as we covered in class in music, uh, what comes after C in the letter notation, it's a D. So C comes after C, letter notation D, this is your D note. Second finger pressing on the second fret, that's your D note. You see on number one here, that's your first finger pressing on the first fret. Actually again, what comes after E, it's your F note. Same thing as the alphabet. So that's your first finger, F note. Okay, moving on. This is the first line for the music sheet of long, long ago and that's how it looks. So ideally what you want to do is you want to just look at it and play it. Now naturally, well, maybe it's a little difficult. So what we can do is write the letters in reminding us of what these notes are. So if you write in pencil so that you can erase it later on, these notes would be C, C, D, E, E, F, G, A, G, and finally, E. Okay? Now, so those are the notes to help you understand what they mean musically on, uh, written on the music score. Now, what we're going to do now is add in some tablatures or portions of tablatures. And what tablatures are, are the fingering, the number to signify the fingering or uh, how to play the notes. So, let me go ahead and write, uh, um, if you notice, some of these notes are the open strings on the ukulele. So that's going to make it a whole lot easier. For instance, C is an open note, E is an open note, G is an open note, a is an open note, G and E are open notes. So those are just open notes that we're going to play when we come to those notes. So let's start writing it, the tablatures down. So this is going to be open, open. This is going to be the, the second finger. Remember, do you know that second finger there? This is open, open, F, F note there, first finger there. This is going to be a one. G is open. A is open. See, open. G, open. G, open. And finally, open E string. So there's a lot of op open strings to make it easier. Now, some of you may be wondering, okay, the, you know, the notes are getting higher, but I'm, I'm playing an open string. And that's because your G string is actually tuned pretty high, and that's the reason why you can do that. There are other ways of playing the G note, but we're not gonna cover it today. If you have any questions, uh, by all means, please see me um, before or after class. Make sure, once again, that you have a strong understanding of this section before moving on to the next, and if you need to rewind the tutorial and go over it again, by all means, do so.